Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. The US has launched an airstrike targeting Mohammed Enwazi, who is better known as Jihadi John. Enwazi is a Daesh terrorist and has been filmed killing several people. The Pentagon says it's not clear whether the strike killed Enwazi. The opposition has won more than two thirds of parliamentary seats in the national elections. That's enough for it to control parliament and choose Myanmar's next president. Even though this will end military rule in the country, the army will maintain a quarter of the seats in parliament. Earlier this week, outgoing President Thane Sein congratulated NLD leader Aung San Suu Kyi on her party's success. Suu Kyi is constitutionally barred from holding the presidency, but she said she'll be above the president. Daesh has claimed responsibility for a double suicide bombing at a neighbourhood in southern Beirut. The first bomber blew himself up outside a Shia mosque and the second near a bakery. The terror attacks killed at least 43 people and injured 239. The suburb is a centre for Hezbollah. The World Health Organization has reported that over the last 25 years, deaths related to pregnancy have fallen by about a half. Around 303,000 women have died from complications due to pregnancy this year. In 1990, that number was 532,000. The WHO has called this a huge progress, but it also says the deaths are uneven. 99% of the women who died were from developing countries. The UN says within the next 15 years, it hopes to reduce the maternal mortality rate to 70 for every 100,000. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.